What's up YouTube? Welcome to Cars Cost and Technology. Today we're going to discuss choosing the best Corvette color option for you. Obviously the information I'll be going over could be applicable for some other type of cars as well, but I'll be focusing primarily on Corvette information since I've owned two different red Corvettes. I've also had a chance to speak to a lot of other Corvette owners and get feedback from them on the different colors that they've chosen, why they went that route, and what they like and dislike about those options. Um, now one thing I want to point out before we even get started is obviously color preference is going to vary widely depending on each person's situation, so don't let this video uh, deter you away from your favorite color. At the end of the day, Corvettes are going to look really good in pretty much any color that you choose. So buy the color that you like and enjoy it. I'm more or less making this video for those of you that are on the fence and I'm just trying to help basically fill the void and give you some information that you may be missing to help determine what will be the best color for you and why it will be the best for your situation. Now we're going to start out with the 2017 production numbers. Um, like I mentioned I've had two different red Corvettes and I'm thinking about in the future um, shifting more towards a gray possibly even a black or white Corvette. So I'm using some data here to help uh, find the patterns in the market and see what's popular to people. Obviously you can see see the Arctic White was the most popular for 2017. Uh, Watkins Glen Gray was a uh, uh, close second. Then you have Black and Torch Red. Um, it's kind of interesting that the gray was able to make it up in the top two and beat out black and torch red. Traditionally, those are very popular colors of Corvettes, but I think that a lot of that has to do with the 2017 Collector's Edition Grand Sport, which is a beautiful car, and it came in that in the Watkins Glen Gray color. Uh, interestingly enough, that particular configuration was the most or the highest produced specific configuration of any Corvette. So if you look at the Coupe Grand Sport in that specific color, there was 2,374 units produced versus the next closest was 2,200. 121 of the white Stingray Coupe. So uh, very interesting that there was so many of that particular configuration produced. But again, very beautiful car and I can see why it was so popular. I would imagine we'll see that number go down pretty significantly in 2018 since the collector's edition will not be sold anymore. Uh, we're going to see the Carbon 65 this year. So we'll see some more emphasis around the white color scheme, even though they're technically naming it slightly different from white. But uh, now that we've looked at some 2017 numbers, let's go a little farther back in the past and see uh, the bigger picture with these popular colors. Um, so I've I've graphed out uh, black, red, white, and even orange from 2009 on. I threw orange in there as just kind of a reference point to show just how uh, popular these other colors have been and, and continue to be. Um, you can see a kind of an interesting story or, or something occurring. Right around 2013, you see a spike in the popularity of the uh, color white for Corvettes. I think that it has a lot to do with the uh, release of the special edition for. 427 Corvette in 2013. I think that that really showed people how good a white Corvette could look. Um, and then the, the color just continued to gain traction and popularity from there, obviously becoming the most popular color for the last couple of years eventually. So uh, really interesting to see that occur in this graph. Uh, but you can see how consistent black and red have been for many, many years. They've been one of the most popular colors. Um, if you're looking for a very unique Corvette, one that not many other people own, uh, the orange, not only is it not produced every year, but when it is produced, it's typically in small quantities. So, you know, if you're looking for something that's stands out and it's very different than others. You could go with an orange. Not my taste, but I still think it's a really nice car. Uh, but anyway, like I said, it's very interesting to see, especially white, for example, going from one of the least popular colors all the way up to uh, one of the most, the most popular year after year. Uh, I think that definitely tells an interesting story. And we're going to go over some pros and cons here of, of why these colors do so well and uh, what people find in these colors. And, and uh, I'm sure if you've been thinking about buying a Corvette, you've at least considered red, black, or white as one of the options. Maybe purchase something different, but at least looked at these. Now, um, I'm going to go over red first since I've owned two different red Corvettes. I'm very familiar with the pros and cons of owning a, a red car. But first thing I want to talk about is how easy it is to maintain or as far as keeping it clean. Um, with my red Corvette, I can go a week or two, maybe even three without washing it, even driving in the rain a couple times. And it just doesn't really look that dirty. I mean, obviously to me, I can see the dirt because I'm focusing on it and uh, kind of a perfectionist when it comes to my car. But uh, from an outward appearance, it, it really doesn't show that that uh, well. And um, I'm very impressed with how well the paint it holds up and looks clean even after not spending a lot of time and energy on detailing it. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Obviously the contrast with black or chrome trim on a red car looks great. The color stays pretty cool. It doesn't attract as much sun heat as black would. And it's a very sporty looking car. Um, some cons that we need to go over. Obviously it's going to attract some unwanted attention whether that is from police or that is from you know somewhere that you're trying to be discreet like a business meeting things like that. It just draws a lot of attention. It's a very loud color and it, and it just attracts people's eyes. So that can be a good or bad 
of thing. Um, I have noticed a lot of bird poop on the car, which is unfortunate, and it doesn't really hide scratches that well since the uh, scratches are typically white or black. Um, they stand out pretty well on red paint. Next thing we're going to talk about is white. Obviously, with white being the most popular color for the last couple of years, it, there's got to be some secret here to why so many people are interested in this, this color. And I think a lot of it has to do with how clean and modern it looks. It definitely has kind of a futuristic appearance, especially with the Corvette and the lines on the Corvette, uh, as well as the trim and accent pieces. It just looks really clean, like this Corvette here. This one belongs to Stormtrooper Vet on Instagram. Definitely check him out. His info will be in the description. But you can see how nice the contrast is with the uh, black accent pieces and trim pieces against the white paint. And uh, obviously with white, you know, absorbing the least amount of heat from any other color. If you live in a really hot state, it's going to be one of the most comfor comfortable to drive on a daily basis. Uh, white also does a really good job of sort of hiding any swirl marks, minor scuffs and scratches, water marks, you know, just small imperfections in the paint that might stand up more on, say, black or red cars. Uh, white's going to look really good, so it gives you kind of an upper hand when it comes to detailing. Um, now, obviously, some cons of white. With it being white, you know, uh, road grime, dust, dirt, pollen, things of that nature are going to stand out pretty easily on the car, so you're still going to have to clean it pretty often. Uh, it just seems like the, the nitty-gritty detailing is a little easier on a white car. But next, we're going to talk about black. Um, this is kind of a... Uh, for me, it's a tough topic because I was actually going to buy a black Corvette before I got my original red C6. Uh, I just really have always loved the color black. I think uh, that an all blacked out car just looks so good. Um, I know it's kind of a trend right now, but uh, I've always loved that color and I'm sure most of you do as well. But we've got to face it, guys, you know, despite how good this looks and how aggressive black is, um, it's a very difficult color to maintain. You know, anyone who owns a black Corvette or a black car in general will tell you how hard it is to keep clean. A uh, channel that I enjoy watching, uh, Corvettes 918, uh, Chuck over there has pointed out many times how difficult it is to keep his black uh, Z06 clean um, between dust, uh, pollen, uh, road debris, things of that nature. It just shows up very quickly and it's very hard to keep clean. Even when cleaning, it's hard to make sure that you're not making any swirls, leaving water spots, things of that nature. So overall, it's a pretty difficult color to maintain. But outside of that, it's just a beautiful color. Um, I think that... You know, unless if you're uh, very uh, particular about the condition of the car, you know, you're not going to regret it. It's just obviously going to be something that you want to keep in mind before buying a car like that. Um, it's also going to get very hot, you know, so if you're driving the car often and it's a very hot area, you need to keep in mind that it's going to be uh, very warm. It's also hard to see at night, so it could obviously contribute to a uh, safety concern there, getting hit, things like that, because the car is more difficult to see in low lighting. But uh, I also think that you know, would say like a red Corvette, you know, you can see the, uh, all the different accents or even white, you know, we've talked about the trim pieces and accents really standing out and having a high level of contrast. Uh, one downside to black is they kind of blend in and, and blur a little bit. I think it still overall looks really aggressive and mean, but you have to admit that there are certain, uh, pieces to the design of the Corvette that, that, aren't quite done justice on a black car because they blend in so well and the black kind of masks them a little bit. But that's just my personal opinion. I still love the way that a black Corvette looks. But um, with any three of these colors, you're going to have no problem reselling the car. You know, obviously they're all very popular, popular colors. I want to spend a little more time and talk about some of the least popular colors. Uh, but, you know, obviously I want to focus on these three since I'm sure at one point or another, these three contenders have showed up on your list of potential options to purchase. But uh, let me know in the comments if you want to talk about more. Obviously, uh, I hope that you guys can open up a good discussion there going over your thoughts and feedback on owning any of these three colors since I've only owned you know one of these three colors that we've spent most of this time discussing I know there's always uh, just a really uh, a lot of great information passed along in the comment section I always appreciate that from you guys so hopefully this information was valuable to you and it's helped you decide which will be the right color for you on your next Corvette purchase like I said I am still kind of pondering switching it up on my next Corvette who knows when that will be but I'm thinking more towards the uh, Watkins Glen Gray or something along those lines but anyway guys let me know if you liked the video please give it a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i hope you enjoyed the video have a great weekend and